Everything's exactly the way you want it. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We got something good to talk about today. Well, I don't know if it's good, but we're gonna talk about it. So as you all know, uh, we have no engine or transmission for this car. We also don't have any accessories. What you see under the hood right now is all that we have for this car. So we're very limited. No nuts, no bolts, no coil, no solenoid. You get it, right? What you see is what you get. So we need a lot of stuff, to say the least. So I was looking around on Facebook Marketplace. Run across a pretty good deal. We've got everything we need to make this car run and drive. Let's go look at it. Now you guys saw this monstrosity, or in some form or fashion anyway, in the thumbnail, so. Yeah, she's pretty rough, guys. She's pretty rough, but uh, you know what? The good thing about it is this will give us everything to make this car run under its own power, like that quick in a weekend. Well, all right, guys, uh, here we go. This is what we've got. Um, it's a complete running, driving car, and we do we do actually have the air box back there too. But um, this is it. So it's rough. It's very rough. But it runs and it drives and it actually only has valve cover leaks that I can see. From what I can tell, these are the only leaks that it has. And they are pretty major, if I'm being completely honest. But it is what it is. Um, anyway, I think the AC works. It just needs to be charged up. So that's a really good thing. All this stuff will save the Cobra clone. We have a GT40 upper and lower intake that we're going to put on it. Uh, thanks to a subscriber we have a good condenser we have a good radiator which i'll probably just buy a new radiator but look guys we even have a new battery so it's all about the little things you have to really think about we had no solenoid we had no coal no washer fluid reservoir no battery tray none of this stuff we had now before you guys ask of course we're going to pull this thing out and we're going to put all new gaskets on it we're going to put a new oil pump new time and chain um you know just really go through it and we're going to clean it up it did come with 16 inch pony wheels and honestly guys they're in excellent shape they just need to be resprayed but uh, i don't really see any curb rash or anything like that on them well, they look good they look real good so i'll be able to sand these down uh respray them clear coat them and uh here are the uh center caps right here now those look pretty rough but i can always find those later so what we may do is take these restore these wheels at some point i'll once again show you guys how i do that and uh hell we may just throw them on the retro fox for a different look you know something like that so that'll be really cool we do need a few pieces out of the interior of this car we need this section right here so behind these vents we need this piece right here. I, got, I forgot, completely forgot to address the fact that this is an AOD car. So the whole point of this is to get that car running so that we can move it around. And then at some point we'll do a T5 conversion or something like that. I know I had spoken about putting a Windsor in the car. I was very serious about it. I had my, I had my eBay cart loaded up with all the swap parts and everything else to put the Windsor in. But guys, that was almost $900 just for all the swap parts. Meaning I was going to still put a T5 behind it. So I needed a different flywheel. That flywheel and everything else added together was like $900. I bought this car for $1,200 and I got a set of pony wheels. I need the drive shaft out of this thing. I need the exhaust. I need pretty much everything out of this car as far as drive line goes because we do not have any of it. So you know what? This car is going to give its life to save that one and I'm good with that. Once we get done with this car, stripping it down, I'm gonna take it over to uh, our land over in Georgia and that's where that's gonna stay. It's actually got a good bumper. I know you guys send a lot of parts in and, and you help the channel out and stuff, but as far as me getting rid of parts, I usually don't get rid of parts because, uh, you know, we're always doing some sort of project or something like that. 
So it, it really benefits me to keep these cars, put them up and keep all the parts off of them. So as of right now, I'm not going to be selling any parts uh, off this car. So sorry guys, but you never know when you might need a nut, a bolt, a bracket or something like that. So you would almost think that people like to put cheese graters in LXs now because you see so many LXs with cheese graters in it. Well, obviously the reason is everybody takes the LX taillights out of these cars and they just swap them out with their cheese graters. So it makes it look like somebody actually did this on purpose. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There is one more thing. One more thing, guys. I know you're going to want to hear it. You don't want me to start it up. The car uh, has a bad skip. Um, the guy that I bought the car from actually thinks that it might have a blown head gasket. I'm not sure. Uh, there's no oil in the water, water in the oil, stuff like that, but that doesn't mean that it's not uh, a blown head gasket in between the cylinders. Now, if it is a blown head gasket in between the cylinders, there's the possibility that the block and the head are destroyed, pretty much. If you've ever had one blow in between the cylinders, as the pistons fire back and forth between each other, uh, they'll actually just burn a groove right in the top of the uh, block. So hopefully that's not the case. Even if it is, it doesn't matter. I have another block. I have more heads. The main reason for getting this right here is to get everything swapped over into that car. If we run into an issue like that, all we got to do is rebuild it, guys. All we got to do is fix it because we have everything right here. I hope you guys understand why I went this route rather than the Windsor route because I got to thinking, I was like, we need so much for this car that I'm going to have to have a donor car anyway. And then I run across this, $1,200. We'll go ahead and start it up. So, really the car runs pretty good. It's got a little skip. And that's the uh, the smog pump down there if you guys are hearing that kind of roar. But uh, this side over here, uh, except for number one, is all pretty cold in comparison. I shot that side over there with my temp gun and they're all up the temp like really quick. This side over here on the passenger side, is uh they're down by over 100 degrees on each cylinder so there's something going on over here could be a head gasket it, it, it could be bad injectors who knows pretty good right all right guys that's enough of this all right so back over here to this car now you guys hopefully can see why I picked up a parts car. You just looked under the hood of that car. Now look here. We have nothing. We have nothing here. So we needed that. There's going to be a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned up. Obviously that thing is disgustingly filthy. The engine is. But that's just part of it. We'll pull that engine out. And we'll clean everything up. We'll paint it. And we'll get it stuffed into this car here pretty soon. I have not made any progress on the Calypso clone simply because my son's been here. It's the summer. I've been working, that type thing, right? So I've really just taken a break from the car. I've not lost interest. Don't get me wrong. I'm about to get out here and get started right now. I'm too long sighted for the short term shit. Never follow fans. I'm busy making shit. We just wait for the flavor of the week to come back. Yeah, by the looks of that, we're getting really close. Uh, we still need another skim coat, and we're going to bring it on out, out here. But the point is just to show you guys that you can do this. You learn along the way. You teach yourself. So, uh, yeah, we're getting there. So, uh, what we have to do right now is really just fine-tune everything. I like to use that term, fine-tune. You're going to hear that a lot on the channel. How do I know that? Because I have to edit myself saying that shit all the time. So... But yeah, I use that term a lot, but it, it's true. And that's the best way to describe what it is that we have to do. We have to get in here and fine tune all the corners. So you might think to yourself, well, hell, everything's flat, right? You got everything flat, you're ready to go. You're ready to paint. Well, you really have to dive into all of the corners. Like right here is not smooth. These little edges will kill your paint job if you don't do it right. If you don't get all of these edges blended in really, really nicely, that's gonna kill your paint job. So anyway, enough talking. We have we have seen this car in this condition for too damn long. It's time to get after it. I, you probably, if you've never done anything like this, you might not have a clue, but it is a lot of work. But it's very gratifying work also. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and set the time lapse up and we're just gonna get after it. Oh, 
up through here I, I need to make sure that I sand this really good um, through here so when I put the fenders on you know I won't be able to really get to that so I do need to come in here and really kind of finish all these edges out right along through here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these fenders on the car get the bumper bolted up loosely that is that way we can we can spray everything together All right, guys, we got the bumper somewhat on. Got the insert in the car. With the help of Mama Brutal. She, she don't want to be on camera. But when I tell you we are a car family, we are a car family. My mom will get out here and work with the best of them. So thanks to mom today because I couldn't have done it without her. All right, guys, update time. So as you can see yesterday, my mom gave me a hand. You know, it was so good to be able to work with my mom yesterday. I mean, how many people can say that? I mean, she got out here and busted her butt, guys. I mean, she was out here pouring sweat and helping me get after. She helped me adjust these doors out. I mean, and that took forever. But once we put the fenders on, the doors were completely out of line. Pretty happy with these panel gaps. That looks pretty good. I'm not gonna argue about that. The issue we were having was the door would either shift this way too far or it'd be up too far and getting that combination right Anyway, here we are. We have the body kit mounted on the car. It's not gonna stay there, but this was just for verification to make sure that everything lined up good. And guys, I am so excited about this. So let me go ahead and apologize. There's gonna be a lot of little stuff now that I'm doing that I'm not filming because honestly, I don't think you guys wanna see all of this stuff. I know there's some of you that do, but I can't continue to put content out every single day of me just working on a primer car there's not really any useful info i can share with you guys i got out here yesterday and uh this probably could have helped somebody no doubt this particular piece of the bumper where it squeezes up against the body was too thick so what i had to do was come in and grind a lot of that out so i don't know if you guys can see it in there but i had to grind some of that away because I didn't want to beat on the body of the car. So I just ground some of the uh, bumper down. And now, now it doesn't have all the bolts in it. It's actually just sitting here. But uh, this is going to pull up nice and tight. This gap is going to close up really good now when I put the bolt in it. And when we put the 3M tape on it, level everything up, we are going to be good. So I'm super excited about that. That was one of my big concerns, honestly, was this rear bumper because it just didn't want to sit right. It didn't want to sit flush, but I think this is going to solve the problem. Really no more sanding on the car to speak of. I pretty much have the cowling as good as I'm going to get it. So we're going to put some high build primer on it, block all that out, and I think we're going to be good. Is it going to be perfect? Mm, probably not. If you look at it just right in the right light, you're probably going to be able to see something, but I have to move forward. Now I'll give you guys a little tip. If you're using steel rivets, which is all I could find yesterday, don't keep squeezing the tool until this pops because you're going to break this fiberglass header right here. See how these swell out? I mean, that's what a rivet does. That's the whole design of it. It goes down through the hole up top and as you start to crank it, it swells up. If you keep squeezing to try to pop that rivet, you're gonna bust that panel and nothing's gonna work, man. You're gonna have to put bolts or something like that in it. So what I usually do is give it like, like two cranks and then I just stop. And then what you're gonna have to do now is just come and cut the tops of those off. Even with aluminum rivets, you wanna be careful and not like, you know, try to pop these things. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. With the aluminum rivets, usually you can just knock these out. Now granted, this is not a real hammer guys, but uh, normally you could just come in and yeah, normally you could just come in and hit the tops of them but that's not gonna work with these. So uh, we'll just cut those off. No harm, no foul. The fog light bracket assembly goes all the way across and it bolts to the back of your bumper, to the inside here. All right, so here we are under the car. So this is your, your bumper, your fiberglass bumper right here. These are your posts. And then this is where your fog light bracket mounts to. So how it mounts is just like this, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully you can. But that's how everything mounts up. So that bracket lays under there. It's got two brackets that stick up and actually bolt to the backside of your fiberglass bumper. So 
yes you have to have your fiberglass bumper to make this work could you make something absolutely but uh if you're wanting to lose that front bumper because i know a lot of people do that um you're not really going to be able to use that fog light bracket if that's what you want to do plus the fog light bracket is also a lower bumper support so it's all made in together you can see down here this actually needs to sit up above that that locks that bumper in that's how all that goes sorry that i skipped over it like i said just been super busy I, I come out here for like 20 30 minutes at a time when i can yesterday i come out here and uh, ended up staying out here and my mom come out and helped me so that was super awesome but it, it wasn't planned so i didn't get a lot of footage plus she didn't want to be on camera so you know i understand that also as always using used parts uh we had to do a little bit of fixing right here so uh, uh i gotta sand that little bit off that's on here a little skim coat but i filled in a hole it was cracked so the hole was right up here and i uh, just filled it in with some fiber fill so that's like basically like a fiberglass resin so i'll make a hole down here rather than using that that way that won't break uh it's just little stuff like that you know i want i want everything to be clean i don't want any broken parts and stuff like that but rather than buying those parts i think they're like a hundred and something bucks for those damn things i don't want to have to buy those again so we're going to try to save them try to use them so to get these to work uh, depending on which style you have I don't know how they all come but uh, mine has a bolt in the back you have to drill a hole into the fender of the car up here so that you can get this in and then you just have to kind of line everything up so that's pretty close right there now this side of the bumper is not on yet this side of the bumper is not attached and this fender is not pulled out the way it needs to so all that still got to be done on this side I do have that side done. There again, just trying to show you guys little tips and tricks that I've run across. All right, uh, I will catch up with you when we got a better update.